Haters talking, but I don't even hear them. <laughs> yeah, man. Yo guys, it's going on Toby here or Toby Jizzle and um, welcome back to my career mode series with Lethal Jizzle, my virtual pro. And um, if you remember in the, at the end of the last um, episode, um, I ended it with the media article where they were given their um, predictions. They predicted that we'd finish around 7th in the table and um, they put a lot of pressure on me as the key player in the side. And I was wondering why I was the key player in the side seeing that um, I had only just created my pro and it was literally the start of my career. And then um, I went and looked at the squad rankings and I found that I am indeed not only the top ranked striker but also um, the highest ranked player in the whole squad. So uh, yeah, the pressure is indeed on. But um, we get onto a good start I think in the game against Chesterfield with uh, a decent win. Um, chances were few and far between. Um, we do create, it's a, it's a pretty one sided game, we create a few chances. As you can see the camera's focusing on me in the intro there. but. Um, Early on we get a chance here where my guy breaks through and takes it really nicely on the left foot but the keeper makes a fantastic save to be honest. Um, create more chances throughout the game, um, lethal chisel involved in all of them I think. Just like the centre of the attack and moves like the hub, a decent shot there but the keeper makes a comfortable save as well. Then I get a really good chance to score a free kick on my debut but I only managed to hit the crossbar as the keeper makes the save there so that was really frustrating. Especially as um, I think I struggle quite a bit with free kicks on this game. Um, but second half, create a chance early on, um, nice passing football there, plays it out wide and I think he gets a cross in for a header to make it 1-0, it was a really good start, so that's my first assist of the season. Um, I can't remember what the targets were set um, by the manager initially, but um, no doubt that would help to my um, assist tally. But uh, yeah, they break through with a nice passing move and a very good finish to be honest, an equalise in the 70, is that 74th minute, I can't see something like that um so yeah that was kind of depressing and i really didn't want to draw in the first game so from this throw in takes the chance look at this cheeky little finesse into the bottom corner so late in the game and we managed to get the win from that and that is a goal and assist in this match so that is a man of the match performance as you can see applauding the crowd there really happy with that result um it's a 8.5 rating in my debut so very happy with that um I actually do wonders for the, my average rating over the course of the season. And also, I managed to get in the team of the week with a team of the week performance. So, a um, manager drafts me in straight for the next game, which is, um, I think it's Johnston's Paint Trophy against Yeovil. It might be um, Capital One Cup, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, this was a pretty even game. Yeovil were a league one side, so they're the league above us. Um, chances were definitely few and far between here, forcing a good save off the goalkeeper once more. Um, but over the course of the... 90 minutes, I think it remains goalless and we have to go to penalties. Here's the really good chance off the woodwork. So frustrated with that. Um, that would have like kind of made it all. Um, but I think Lethal Jizzle's contribution as a player, even though he's created some chances, didn't really manage to do anything damaging to the opposition. That's why it remained goalless, um, I guess. And um, yeah, I just, he wasn't involved as much as I would like him to be. Um, ended up getting substituted off in the 120th minute but look at that there 90th minute clean through and the referee blows the whistle standard from FIFA but subbed off in the 120th minute so I'm controlling like the whole side now and that is a fantastic winning penalty we win 3-2 on penalties against Yeovil so it's a great result against the side the league above us and that puts us through to the next round 6.5 rating I was quite disappointed with um, that's not going to be good for the average rating but um, as I said I wasn't really involved in the game as much as I would like to be Game against Morecambe was a different story though, lots of chances, I've had to cut it down quite a bit here. Forcing an early save off the goalkeeper there, um, I think he was involved with this chance as well, yeah, decent chipped through ball, really Grant should finish but he only manages to hit the woodwork which is a fantastic opportunity. And then our chance came in the 70th minute um, after a really like, well balanced possession game. 1-2 uh, with Wood who finishes in the near post, now this game was really well balanced possession wise. Um, but in terms of chances we absolutely dominated and that's how we managed to get a 1-0 victory um, but 6.6 .6 rating wasn't too happy with especially after getting that assist but I'm going to have to step up my performances for results but um, after three games we've won two in the league and set third and we've managed to knock out the side in the cup so really happy with that um, if you guys love the video then flare it a favourite like and share it and I'll talk to you in a bizzle peace <laughs>